All right, I'm doing my first video here of Ellie. He's still a pretty much a, a scaredy cat. It's a beautiful, um, classic face seal point girl. She was a stray. She looks to me like she was probably outside for some time based on her personality, really. She's got a small scar on her nose, which is probably from either being trapped or caught in something, um, but it's very minimal. Um, she's very frightened. Uh, we gave her an intake bath, which we do with the all cat, all cats, particularly if they've been outdoors. We want to get all the contaminants off their fur. She was really good, but she just shook, like tremored the entire time, just really um, scared. Um, so she's down here in group living. She's going to actually see the vet today, um, and then we'll be working to integrate her. And I suspect it'll be some time before she's not running and hiding behind the washing machine, which is our uh, favorite location for the scaredy cats. Um, but she's very sweet. She's got great potential. I think once upon a time she was somebody's cat, for sure, but she was got outside somehow and just had some really scary experiences, I think. Um, great eye contact, though you can see that. So, and some slow blinks, of course, that's a good sign as well. Um, I think this gal, obviously, she needs a quiet home, no small children, somebody with time and compassion and patience. I don't, it's not going to take a whole lot. I bet this is going to be just like Merlin, who just went home last night after three weeks and is already, you know, uh, seeking pets and doing well. So, um, I, you know, it's there, um, it's in the quiet home is key, um, <clears throat> no big, huge changes in your future, um, marriage or moving or, you know, that sort of thing. She'd do better with someone who's settled, not to say she couldn't transition, but uh, she's just going to be spooked for a little while. And starting tomorrow, we'll be um, working to integrate her in group living, and we'll see how she does with other cats. Right now, my typical um, mainstay, if you will, is no female-female matches, particularly when you have a seal, because they do end up with strong personalities and not liking to share. Um, with a male, you know, probably a very soft male, so you don't want to ever put a strong outgoing bully male with a uh, very soft female or vice versa because then you get kind of the bully syndrome so I think she's going to be a very very nice cat for somebody little bit of work up front don't expect any surprises at uh, the vet exam but we'll have another update after that happens and um, she should be ready to go um, today's I think May 17th um, uh, probably Memorial Day weekend